analyzed the black codes, the Jim Crow laws, and the similar to Montgomery marches for the impact on the passage of the voting rights of 1965. In the United States, the black codes were laws passed by southern states in 1865 and 1866 after the Civil War. These laws had the intent and the effect of restricting African Americans' freedom. In the South, these were generally in included in slave codes. The goal was to reduce influence on the free blacks. Restrictions included prohibiting them from vo for voting, bearing arms, gathering in groups for worship, and learning how to read and write. The Jim Crow laws were state and local laws enforcing racial segregation. Jim Crow was a comedic character played by Thomas Dartmouth Rice in blackface. It mandated segregation in public schools, public places, and transportation. It also segregated restrooms, restaurants, drinking fountains, and also the U.S. military. It transcended from the black codes passed by the southern states restricting civil liberties of all African Americans. One main issue was not allowing free blacks to vote. It was attempted to abolish the Jim Crow laws by guaranteeing equal treatment of all races in public accommodations, but it was ruled unconstitutional. Shortly after the Montgomery bus boycott, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. brought together a group named the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. After an unarmed black minister named Jimmy Lee Jackson was killed by a state trooper while marching for voting rights, the SCLC planned the first Selma to Montgomery march. The first march is commonly known as Bloody Sunday. Marches were met by state troopers who began to fire tear gas and beat them with night sticks. On the second march, they turned around on the bridge even though the state troopers seemed to step aside. After the second march, a minister named James Reed that participated in protests in Montgomery was beaten severely by the KKK and later on died. His death resulted in a national outcry against racism in the South. Shortly after the march, Lyndon B. Johnson had no other choice but to sign the Voting Rights Act in 1965. It exercised the 14th and 15th Amendments. protect the lives of its own citizens seeking the right to vote. 